The state of Utah can face a variety of disasters, from wildfires to floods to earthquakes to even tornadoes. In the event of a disaster, an elaborate emergency management process is initiated to provide critical response and recovery actions. The central component of this process is the Emergency Operations Center. These centers coordinate the emergency response and manage policy decisions throughout the disaster and recovery phase. Various EOCs are distributed throughout the state of Utah, located at government agencies, local utilities, and other strategic locations. These EOCs are designed to address the specific needs and functions of an effective emergency response, from utility management to transportation coordination. From the initial response, EOCs help response organizations to provide citizens with basic human needs. A properly designed emergency operations center should serve as an effective and efficient facility for coordinating emergency response efforts. In our communication centers, we have the capability of monitoring um, the, any weather situations, um, any radio communications, or telephone calls that might come in. Uh, this also serves as our um, alert and warning center. Um, using uh, the emergency alert system, and we can send broadcasts out um, over the TV and radio stations um, to let them know of severe weather, things like that. Information technology piece is so critical, and probably of anything that we spend time on and spend money on in the facility, it is our information technology, our information infrastructure, uh, to make sure that those are going to be the reliant things. One phone switch um, is not sufficient. Uh, we know the vulnerabilities of that phone switch. So redundancy and backup of a lot of our critical information on a hardened site like it is here and then off-site as well. This is our uh, emergency action center. We have a regional emergency action center that, that resides in our dispatch center down at the North Temple office. This is, is, if you will, kind of a backup to that particular facility. In this this facility as well as the other facility we have a series of phones that reside on these desks of which are manned by uh, individuals that have specific very defined administrative duties for the large-scale restoration efforts that occur in the Salt Lake Valley. Each one of the individuals will be assigned a particular phone and be responsible for material components, media, uh, resourcing components, things of that nature. Also in this particular facility we have uh, wall maps that are a kind of a visual representation of our existing facilities in the field which, which help us in the outage restoration effort that occurs here in, this, in the Salt Lake Valley. In the selection of an EOC facility, critical attention must be paid to building standards, design and structure, proximity to hazardous locations, and the ability to withstand stresses like windstorms and ground shaking. You can be certain that good planning and preparedness now will improve emergency response and speed the recovery process.